Have you ever heard the saying, you can't be in two places at once? Well, maybe you can. In this video, we'll be taking a look into bilocation. This is a strange phenomenon. Sit back and I hope you enjoy. All through history, there have been some decidedly bizarre accounts of mysterious individuals who have apparently experienced it. Somehow managing to alter the laws of reality, to literally exist in two places at the same time. It isn't teleportation or the phenomenon of doppelgangers, but rather those enigmatic people who have somehow managed to split themselves into two physical forms to instantly and at the same time be in two places at once. A phenomenon referred to as bilocation. It's mysterious, baffling and startling. These cases of people splitting into two hint at the potential of powers and forces at work around us that are far from being fully understood. The whole idea seems infeasible when considering the rules of physics and matter that we are aware of. Yet, there are a lot of accounts that want us to believe otherwise. By location is thought to occur when a person's double is projected to another location and is visible to others who perceive the double as an actual physical body. Although in some cases the double has appeared to be an apparition, not a solid physical form. Persons witnessing by location often notice that the double acts oddly or doesn't speak at all. It's also said that mystical and magical adepts are attributed with the ability to bilocate, sometimes even at will. In Christianity, numerous saints and monks reportedly bilocated. Among them, Saint Anthony of Padua, Saint Ambrose of Milan, Saint Severus of Ravinia, and Padre Pio of Italy. Philip Neri, a 16th century Florentine businessman, who joined the church and became known as the Apostle of Rome, experienced by location following a transformational ecstatic experience, during which he felt his heart enlarge. After that, he was subjected to palpitations and sensations of great heat. In 1774, St. Alphonsus Maria de Ligori, another ecstatic, created a stair by announcing one morning that during the night he had attended the dying Pope Clement XIV at his bedside in Rome, which was a four-day journey away. Later, when questioned, the attendant at the Pope's bedside did confirm that St. Alphonsus was indeed at the Pope's bedside. In the Catholic religion, they consider bilocation to be the occurrence of a phantasm or a spiritual body that can be in lots of places at the same time. In Eastern traditions such as yoga, bilocation is one of the more advanced powers of the adept. They supposedly acquire it through medication and channeling of the prana, which is the universal life force, also through the chakras of the body and its aura. Investigations into reports on bilocation were collected in the late 19th century by Frederick W. H. Myers, one of the founders of the Society for Psychical Research, SPR, in London. Myers published them in Human Personalities and Its Survival of Bodily Death in 1903. One representative account 
which happened on February the 5th, 1887, was a father and two daughters who went out to hunt one afternoon. After some time, the daughter decided to go home with the coachman. On the way, they spotted their father. He was sat astride his white horse on top of a hill, not too far away. It was separated from the daughters by a dip in the land. The father waved his hat at them, and one daughter said she could clearly see the brand label inside the hat, although because of the distance she really should not have been able to see it. The horse looked dirty and injured, as though it had been in an accident. The daughters were distressed. They passed into the dip, and the father and the horse disappeared for only seconds from view. When the girls rose out of the dip, the father and horse were nowhere to be seen. The father arrived at home later and said he had not been in an accident, nor had he waved his hat at them from the hilltop. The incident seemed to have no explanation. OK, let's do the science bit. Quantum mechanics boasts all sorts of crazy odd features. A phenomenon called quantum entanglement, which is a fact that two separate particles can interact instantaneously. Einstein disparaged the theory, which he called spooky action at a distance. But there is a lot of evidence to support the theory of quantum entanglement. And another phenomenon called quantum superposition. This principle of quantum mechanics suggests that particles can exist in two separate locations at once. In quantum mechanics, they're usually dealing with two particles and the human body consists of trillions. But it is a good theory to think that they can have these particles in two different places at the same time. Have we missed something? Have the scientists missed something? Is this how they bilocate? Probably not, but it is an interesting theory. I hope you found this as interesting as I did when I started researching it. If you'd like to put any comments down below, whether you believe, whether you don't believe. I'll always be interested in reading them. Always like different opinions. Thanks very much for watching. Take care now. Stay safe. Bye.